How are you, Carl? Good. At Carl's Barbershop in Cockeysville, a standard trim comes with some talk. Give me the scoop, Carl. I'm like a therapist. I have his attention, but I can't get away from him either. But among the clippers, scissors, combs, and capes, <laughs> generation of all the haircuts here. customers are treated to bells and elves, stockings and snowmen, reindeer and wreaths. Carl does it right. It started out very, very small. One ornament. It was a little um, silver tree. And then another, and another, and another. And soon, a Christmas village inside a tiny barber shop. And today, it's so big now that people come all day to see it. For 45 years, Mr. Carl, the unofficial mayor of Cockeysville, has created holiday magic for his customers and community. One woman's been here three times with grandkids. Every time somebody walks by and looks in and sees all these balloons and all, they go ballistic and then they'll come in. We don't even know who they are. And they'll just start asking if they can walk around and see everything and we just let them do it. Year after year, they come to search out their favorites among the thousands of ornaments. The big sand over there. Me that has an ornament in there. SpongeBob, dogs and bears, Santa of all sizes. They're not even in business anymore. Vintage and new. I added three things last night. A nutcracker. It's right there. Or Santa's boot in the ceiling. Mr. Carl has got it covered with a Santa toilet seat cover, of course. I, I saw it in Macy's years and years back, so I grabbed it. Everybody has a vice, and yours is Christmas ornaments. Yeah. Exactly. Decking the walls of his barbershop begins in the fall. This was the fastest I've ever done it in um, 16 and a half days. But I just went non-stop, not sleeping, nothing. Just two hours sleep and right back and get on it immediately. Mr. Carl's own Christmas rush that never seems to stop. But I keep adding every day, so. On walls, mirrors, the side of the stereo, even up above. But now I think it's 400. 21 boxes in all of ornaments. Every year it's, it's over the top. And everything has its place. I get off that ladder a thousand times to look. To me, everything has to line up. It's a gift Mr. Carl gives us because of a dad. My father was an old Italian. A barber too, who did not allow holiday decorations in this shop when he was growing up. He was never into holidays. Nothing's ever fallen on that wall, ever. The decorations go up, Christmas is coming. <laughs> Mr. Carl is Cockeysville's own Kris Kringle, creating a miracle on York Road. I never intended to do it either. <laughs> and then once I got going, there was no stopping me. <laughs> Well, 